Hey, what's up everyone? In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to fold your gi and also I'm going to show you guys a couple of different methods that you can use your belt to tie around your gi to make that backpack for the kids' jiu-jitsu class. Also, for you guys that are adults, I'm going to show you guys how to do a strap back like this to make it convenient to tie your belt and just grab it and go to the gym, all right? I'm going to also show you guys my preferred method of tying your belt, the Japanese traditional way, so check it out. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is lay out your jacket like this on the floor. In this case, we're doing it on the mats. So have a flat surface. And now you want to make sure that your jacket is wrinkle free. So you just lay it out as such. I usually do this after it's out of the dryer. Now I'm going to grab my pants and just lay them out flat. Make sure hide everything like this. So basically what I'm going to do now is just settle everything in the center and fold this as such. Okay, now super simple. What we're going to do is close everything. So we're going to go sleeve to shoulder like this and sleeve to shoulder like this. All right, so everything should be even. Now sometimes people will like to fold it as such again but I find it tends to be too thick once you're going to wrap everything up. So this is fine. Or you can also choose to do it like this as well. This is another method sometimes that I do when I have a little bit more time. Whichever you prefer, right? So once we're here, we're going to close on this side about halfway through. Okay, so all I'm doing now is folding my gi in half like this. Make sure everything is nice and flat. And we're going to do the other half. And sometimes if it's very rigid, you got to use some jujitsu, right? So here we're going to go knee on stomach to hold it down with a pin. And now we're going to fold it in half once again. Once it's here, make sure everything is flat. Once again, knee on belly if you need to. Make sure everything is wrinkle free. Now here's the tricky part. When you turn it, you want to use that karate chop right here, about one third, right? So right here, I'm going to fold it in half right here. So this seam here is going to tend to flare out, but that's fine because when you wrap everything up, it's going to be all closed up and then you karate chop once again and you close everything down the center. So this is what your gi is going to look like once you're all done, right? It's going to be folded and this is a good way to keep your gi wrinkle free and either create the version one, which is going to be the backpack I'm going to show you guys. Version two is just the slip on your shoulder pack and then version three is going to be that traditional old Japanese style method where you wrap your belt around its gi, right? So I'm going to show you three different ways now to use your belt around your gi once it's folded. And there you go. All right, now bring your belt in. Now here, the first method is very good for kids because we like to teach this to the kids to make a backpack. So as the kimono is folded like this, what we're going to do is grab the belt full length, okay? at the top where the neck area is and just go right around like this. One, and then loop it once as you're tying your belt on this side, nice and firm. Once again, if you need to, knee on stomach, make sure it's rigid. Now the tricky part is gonna be this one here. Once this is closed up, you're gonna loop your belt inside the crease right here. So the crease is here. Loop it in the middle of that crease all the way through. So this is the tricky part. You have to kind of like work its way through. Once you have it, get a couple of inches out on this side. And now what we're gonna do is tie a knot around the belt here like this. So two turns just to make it snug. Once this is done, I'm gonna hide this portion inside the gi once again, looping it back inside. And what we're left is now is two straps like this, so the kids can actually use this as a backpack. Now, if you're a full-size grown-up adult like myself, this is not gonna work on your shoulders, but this is good for the kids where they hang their, their gi on their belt like this, and then they loop around the both shoulders. So this is good, like this is the backpack method where they can actually carry their kimono if they don't have a gym bag, okay? So now the second method, now once you've folded your gi like this, okay, what you're gonna do is grab your belt, fold it in half, just like this, okay? Now all I'm gonna do is loop it around, right? So I'm just gonna go like this, loop it upside down, get the center piece, 
and bring this right in the center like this. Now once I have this, I'm going to pass this through that loop so it makes like a noose. Both ends of the belt and all we do now is tighten it just like this. And now look up here, we have this backpack. All right, this is good for summer times. You don't have your gym bag, you're going to the gi class. You just want to grab your gi. You can even fold your underwear, your rash guards inside the gi itself. And when you're done training, put this on your shoulder like this, get back home, throw it in the laundry, and you're ready to go. Okay, this is the quick method, the belt strap. I like this one. So, this is the quick method. Now, I'm going to show you guys. My first background in martial arts was from karate, right? So, it's Kyokushin karate. Now, I was always very intrigued growing up in the traditional methods, the traditional methods of the Japanese grandmasters. So I once learned how to tie the belt around its own gi, the traditional way. So I'm gonna show you guys how it's done. So we're gonna grab our belt like this. We're gonna loop it around, right? So all we're doing is looping that belt around, both sides, going around like this. Bringing the belt over. Once it's over here, you gotta make sure there's a little bit of space. So maybe pull it up a little bit. And now I'm gonna loop this the looping end over and back under like this. Okay, see that loop? So once again, it goes over and under. So that's the underhook right here. Once we're in this position, you're gonna make sure there's just enough space to pass both ends of your belt around that loop that you just created. Okay, once it's here, you're gonna pull everything tight together. And now you're gonna to start to make that belt tied up. Okay, so you're gonna bring that back to the middle, like this. This is what it's gonna look like. Now, we're gonna take one end, throw it on top, and the other end, we're gonna loop it inside that belt towards the bottom side. It's gonna look like this. Now, once we have this, we're gonna flip the gear around and bring this in the center. We're gonna tie the belt as such inside and tuck it inside like this. See, one and then the other top portion over, and that's two. Bring everything even, and this is what it's gonna look like. So take a look here. This is what the kimono looks like when you tie it the Japanese fashion. Japanese necktie, turn it around, look at this. It's so beautiful, so you can This is awesome. So this is the proper way, the Japanese method, traditional way, in the days of the samurais, how they used to tie their uniform or the hakama or kimono pants with their own belt. Choose your method, guys. Now you can grab this, head on up to the gym, easy, and you're ready to go. Okay, guys, belt away. I'm gonna show you guys the method I use to fold my gi. Because I'm the owner of the academy and I have my own locker room with about 20 different gis in my locker room. I don't have time to spend five minutes every time I do laundry because I pass through so many geese every week. Uh, sometimes it's like almost a dozen geese per week. So the quick way that I use is I just fold my geese. All right, and I'll show you in a second what my locker room looks like. But all I do is fold my pants in half, hide that seam, karate chop right in the center, fold everything through, right? I like to tidy everything up so I hide those laces, gi ropes, the drawstrings are hidden, and now all I do is just keep this right in the center like this. But, I fold my gi in half as well. So now it's going to go opposite side, just like this. All I do is fold it in half, lay it down, make sure everything is even, or as even as can be. I'll fold this, one, two, and hide everything right here. See? Right in the center. Super quick, super easy, super simple. That's when you don't have a lot of time. And now what I do is just turn this in the center right here, split it in half, and my gi's ready for the cabinet, okay? Super simple, but you'll see in a second why I do this like this. This is my locker room right now. This is the cabinet with all of my gi's, as you can see here. All of the white gi's are here colored geese, so I have black geese, blue geese, as you can see here, they're all properly folded and placed. And the reason I do it like this is because that way there I can save a lot of time. When I'm teaching a class, sometimes it's two or three classes in a row. Sometimes it's four classes with private classes. So 
uh, during the summer months, I have to change gis every hour. So I just grab a gi and I'm ready to go. See, I just pull the gi like this, grab a finger, pull the gi out, it's ready to go. See, the pants are hidden inside. I just grab this, put it on, and tie the belt around the waist, ready to teach a class. So this is the reason why I do it like this. It's more convenient for me. It's easier after we've done the laundry just to fold them back in, put them like this in the cabinet, like a filing system. I say filing system because it's almost like a filing system like this, you know, so it's so structured that this is actually a filing cabinet. So it's, it's the same thing. This is a filing cabinet. We actually modified and converted into a storage cabinet for our clothing. Now up here, because we are a brand of gi experience, we manufacture our own gis. We like to kind of like test out what's on the market. So I have a bunch of different branded gis here that I've tested. So all the brands here from uh, Gracie Academy brand, I have uh, Fuji, Coral, Kaiko, Atama, you name it. So I have them here. I like to make comparisons. These are just to test out. We like to make sure that, you know, some of our geese that we make, we like to make sure that the geese that we make are of highest quality, right? So from the stitching to the firmness to uh, comfort and quality overall. So they're uh, long lasting. Now over here, I have some of the uh, beta version geese that we're coming out with. So we have a new type of blue. We also have white on white that's coming out soon. And the next one's gonna be released very shortly is this one here, the army green, also known as the olive green. I'm gonna show you guys for a second. So I have mine, so I'm not supposed to show these right now, but I'm gonna show you, this is Alex's gi, okay? These are gonna be released in the upcoming weeks. So these are the pants. This is his jacket, check it out, guys. This is the olive green gi, beautiful, right? This is our logo in the back. This is a beautiful color. So this is gonna be one of the geese that's coming up and then we're gonna have white on white. Here in the uh, storage cabinet, we also have, because we do no geese, so we have all the compression gear, compression pants, compression shorts that go under the gi. And on the bottom here, I've, we, we do Muay Thai, so these are all the tie shorts that I have. Uh, that I've collected throughout the years that I've received as well and then I have all of my no gi and MMA shorts as well because we do MMA classes that we're starting just now and as you can see on the bottom it's such it's such a mess right now all of the t-shirts if you take a zoom in on this side there's a bunch of t-shirts and there's more rows behind this and then there's more on the floor right now so I know this is a problem we have to find a solution we have to get to Ikea and get a t-shirt cabinet as well but this is what it looks like and that's the reason why I like to fold my geese in this fashion it's very quick quick to grab quick access I just grab here I want a white gi hold it up pull the white gi and I'm ready to go all right guys thanks for watching this video make sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more content as well make sure to fold your gi properly until next time we'll see you in the next video take care